So I don't know. I'm just gonna ask you a couple of general questions and uh, just sort out about your experience in soccer and then your shift to coaching. So I don't know. Just that's a general question I like to ask people. When did your passion for soccer or sports in general start? Um, I don't know when I say passion. I guess I just started when I was young. You know, five years old, starting. It's the easiest sport to get into. The ball's on the ground. <laughs> you know, you're not basketball trying to shoot it in the hoop. So I just started at a young age, and, and as I grew older, you know, around the 9, 10-year-old age, I think that's when I started to get more competitive and get um, really take it a little more serious. And and then from there, I think my passion just grew each and every year and, and following it more. As you get older, you watch it more. You get interested in, in the intricacies of the game. So um, I don't know. I just read a little bit about you before coming, and um, it says that you were in the Penn State soccer team for five years. You were part of a team that won five regular season championships. It says that you had uh, some personal like all conferences honors, mm -hmm. and um, so you had success as a player. So how hard was it to make a shift to coaching? Like, what made you want to do that? Uh, well, as you mentioned, I was there for five years because I had a red shirt due to injury. So I actually had two years where I couldn't physically play the game. So I had to learn the game from a different perspective. And I think that's what drew me, um, especially in my junior year when I tore my ACL. Um, the coaches as an upperclassman wanted me to take more of a leadership role off the field and kind of help mentor those young players. So I think as that year really kind of sparked my interest in the coaching side because I couldn't be on the field. So um. Well, now as a coach, what do you think, uh, how do you, how do you manage a group of young adults and keep them on track? <laughs> that can be tricky, especially in, in a college town such as Columbia. Um, but I think just the communication and, and getting everyone on the same page, uh, I think, especially with, with younger players, it can be intimidating. Um, yeah, that pretty much answers everything I had to ask, and I should be able to get a good couple of quotes out of this. Okay. Perfect. Um, this is another part of just the general being a, a journalist. I, do you have like a contact card or something yeah. so I can have like your yeah. number and then email? Cause I don't know. My just in um, case. let me see. <laughs> I know they're both on there. Okay, yeah, they're labeled. That's my cell phone. So I know um, I'm from Pennsylvania, as you know. So it's a five seven zero. I'm like most people are like five seven three. They try to run. Dot, oh, like oh, it's a typo. No, that that is correct. Right. <laughs> so I just let people know because that's still my. I just it's cheaper than trying to change over every you know moving. So I kept my PA number. So that that cell phone number is correct.